Welcome, you're watching the Mutual Fund Show on NDTV Profit. I'm Tamanna Enamdar, and uh, this is the show where we bring you insights about what you should do with your investments in the mutual fund industry. What should your portfolio look like? Should you rejig it? What are the various options available? Now, the topic we've picked for today is pertinent because we are now in poll season. You would be wondering what that has to do with your mutual fund selections or your mutual fund portfolio. It would turn out quite a bit. You are going to be seeing reactions in underlying equities over the next few weeks before and after the elections, depending on what the results are. While the results for political continuity and stability are largely priced in, what happens if that's not what we see? What are the kind of stocks and sectors which will be buzzing and what can you do as a mutual fund investor about this. Uh, can you make the most of it? Should you just leave your investments alone? And what are the various options? These are some of the things that we're speaking about today. And to talk on this, I'm joined by Santosh Joseph, who's founder of Germinate Investor Services, and Pankaj Matpal, founder and CEO of Optima Money Managers. Welcome to both of you, and thank you so much for speaking with us here at NDTV Profit. Let me begin, uh, Santosh, with you know your take on the topic we've picked, because I know the um, basic intelligence is that continue your sips as always, don't look at events coming and going, but this is a big event. This is a big event that will have an impact and perhaps positive impact on the markets and various sectors. Why should mutual fund investors also not make the most of it? No, they should. This is a big event and, you know, for the common uh, wisdom is to stay invested because this is an event that comes once in five years and uh, we've also known from the past history that whenever elections are there the, the subsequent number of months and years are actually very rewarding for mutual fund investors and therefore there's this tendency to think that can I do something different something exciting something adventurous to make the most of the uh, exciting uh, poll season ahead of us but I think this is where rationality and prudence should come in stick to your guns if you're an investor already stay invested now if you do not uh, if you're not started your journey this is a great time to again take a fresh look at investing uh, stagger your investments and you know go for it because uh, if the elections go well and if the markets uh, are uh, you know set in tone you've got good long runway ahead of you uh, you know it's also a great idea to just look at if you have lump sum investments, is this the time to do it? And let me come to you on that, uh, Pankaj Matpal. If you have a lump sum investment at this time and uh, you know, wondering whether you should wait for before elections, after elections, before deploying, uh, is that a factor that comes into play? Yes, the manna, I agree with you. See, first you have to see um, what are the financial goals. So based on goals, you will invest in diversified funds, for long term but at the same time as you mentioned if you have additional funds available with you and you want to take advantage of that uh, event then definitely you can consider and uh, if you talk about this uh, election so uh, we know that uh, government has a focus on make in india infrastructure so sectors which can get benefit out of these uh, government's plan uh, can be considered so one thing is that for a long term, as per your financial goals, you should invest in diversified funds. But at the same time, as you mentioned, you have lump sum amount available or uh, you want to make uh, best use of this. So in that case, some sectors uh, can be considered. So sectoral funds or thematic funds, especially as I mentioned, uh, themes like manufacturing themes or PSU themes, uh, defense themes or infrastructures, this kind of funds can be added to the portfolio, but you have to understand one thing, that any theme uh, is not for a very long term. So once the theme plays out, you have to exit. So uh, you have to make two portfolios. I mean, one is a core portfolio, which will be as for a financial goal. At the same time, for this event, you can have some fund which you can be allocated uh, to get benefit of this. Mm. Okay, you know, let me take, take that question to Santosh as well. Is this a good time to deploy um, a large amount or a lump sum amount ahead of elections? So, I think, uh, first and foremost, if you have the money to invest right now, it's a great time. Hmm. 
the only question is do i want to just put the money at one go or do i want to stagger it i think it just makes so much more sense that if you have the money you're in a great spot stagger it between the next maybe 2 3 months always whether there was elections or not staggering is a great opportunity number 1 number 2 we've also realized that elections come at least a general election come once in 5 years now whether you stagger or you just put the money at one lump sum if you going to be mindful of the time horizon that you're investing and the purpose that you're going to invest in then even for some reason if someone just took a blind one time bet on the market it will still i think reward you over a five year period remember election come once in five years and there's the least time frame you should come into in the markets into investing in equities even though you're going to do it with mutual funds you still need to give it that you know four five year time frame as much as you'd like to give time for the government to prove itself you need to also give time for your investments to prove and uh, like i said earlier uh, post election years are generally rewarding and it may benefit the investor yeah um you know obviously you have to give a time frame no one is suggesting uh, you play this like a stock market trade uh, the question is that can you make the most of this large event so then let me come to the next leg of it what are the kind of funds that one should look at there are score of thematic funds that have now you know become available many of them have launched over the last couple of years and pankaj let me come to you on that point thematic funds like psus focusing on psus focusing on defense uh, spoke, focusing on infra and these are generally the themes that start showing a lot of reaction ahead of elections would it make sense to go in for some of these thematic funds or stick to the bread and butter See, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the same thing. See, oh, your core portfolio should have diversified funds because uh, whichever government, uh, but economy will grow and capital markets will uh, deliver good returns. So you should invest in diversified funds. But at the same time, uh, if we are expecting that uh, any uh, government which focuses on particular sectors themes, uh, based on that, you can pick some thematic funds. So uh, like uh, defense. PSU, manufacturing, infra. These are good themes, but again, it depends that uh, who who forms the government. So, uh, based on your expectation, you can take a call or after election when you are sure that uh, once you know that uh, who is forming the government and what kind of reforms uh, uh, decisions will be taken. Based on that, also you can pick right themes. You are saying wait. wait for after elections pankaj see again i as i said first thing your expectation what you expecting that who will form the government and what you expect from that government which party i mean if you are expecting nda or uh, india alliance so what kind of uh, strategies or what kind uh, what expectation you have from them so if you are expecting that a particular uh, alliance will form the government particular a uh, party will form the government and you believe that what kind of development you expect from them based on that you can pick the themes or second is that uh, if you are not sure then of course you have to wait and watch after the election results are out and based on that you can take decisions mm. you know now that's that's asking for political punditry from <laughs> <laughs> from investors that everyone may not be able to do frankly a lot of people may speculate no one knows what's going to happen till it happens now the smartest investors make the bets before the event and that's how they make the most of it so santosh coming back to that question thematic funds or be safe with say um, a multi asset multi cap or a flexi fund so i'm not saying safe but i think i think it's uh, just practical to be in uh, diversified funds in the a uh, flexi cap multi cap or i think now you rightly alluded also that multi assets are uh, becoming very critical to people's portfolio now why do i say what i say is that though we do have now a lot on offer a lot on choice as far as specific thematic stories are concerned and some of them do have the ability to give you a quick fire return but the fact remains that we should actually step back and think just beyond the elections now we are in a vibrant growing economy now the more your portfolio is diversified the more your portfolio has got a more broad based view you actually get a much better risk adjusted exposure in a diversified equity fund like a flexi cap or a multi cap or even a multi asset category now for an investor let's avoid this entire euphoria about markets and sectors and 
you know, pockets of uh, growth that may happen due to one political dispensation or the other. Let's structurally look at the India economic idea that is there on place. And uh, like you said, let's not bet on who's going to win or not. Let's bet on the economy because the economy is sure to grow. Absolutely. Let's start with what Sudhir is uh, saying. Uh, Sudhir is aged 49 years and says uh, that I started a SIP, an SIP of 1,000 rupees a month in the HDFC Flexi Cap Fund about six months ago. I also do a top up of 100 rupees a month along with the existing SIP amount. Is it a good idea? It's an interesting strategy for sure. Pankaj, you want to field this first? Yes. Uh, see, Tamanna, the fund is very good. We talk about flexi cap fund, LGFC flexi cap fund. This is uh, one of the oldest funds in this category, which was LGFC equity fund earlier. And uh, real, later it was uh, restructured as uh, LGFC flexi cap. And it has uh, consistency in its performance. Uh, Roshi Jain is the fund manager who is a very brilliant fund manager, I'll say. So fund is very good. Now, second thing that 1,000 rupees per month and increasing by 100 rupees, Every month, my suggestion, if Sudhir has money available with him, because we do not expect uh, anybody, uh, but his salary or income uh, growing month after month. So in this case, it will be better that he invest uh, amount every month, same amount, at least for one year. And this step up should be every year. So if Sudhir can invest more than 1,000 rupees every month, he should invest that. And every year, he should step up by... 10%, 15% or by a fixed amount, that will be better than in increasing 100 rupees per every month. Uh, that may give you more bang for your buck. Santosh, uh, you have any take on this methodology? It's a phenomenal uh, idea to do the SIP and also add, and we have enough data. So we have enough data to prove that uh, when you do an SIP and when you also add uh, an ad hoc amount consistent to the SIP that the results are almost double in terms of how you can make money. Good fund, good SIP, and good top-up strategy is always a winning combination. Mm. All right, uh, let's go to our next question. This is a good idea, Sudhir, so uh, you have the thumbs up there. Dharanesh has written to us, uh, who's 25 years old, says that they are planning to start a 1,500 rupees SIP in six particular funds and increase the investment amount annually by 10%. I want to know if I have chosen the right funds and should I change any of them. So now the names of the funds on your screen, Nippon India Nifty 50, Value Index Fund, Access Small Cap Fund, UTI Nifty 200, Momentum a 30 Index Fund and Quant ELSS Tax Saver Fund are some of them, Motila Loswal NASDAQ 100, FOF Direct Growth and SBI Contra Direct Plan Growth. So uh, quite a well-rounded sort of number of funds. The question is, and I'll come to Pankaj first, are there just too many in his portfolio? Yeah, uh, there are too many because the amount of investment is not at large. Uh, one more thing, the manna here, mid-cap is missing. See, there are uh, passive funds as well as active funds. But uh, if you see all the funds, uh, mid-cap is missing. There are two large-cap funds, though these are factor investing. Uh, my suggestion will be that uh, if we if this is Nippon India Nifty 50 Value Index Fund with the Mutila Luswal Mid-Cap Fund or uh, any other Mid-Cap Fund, uh, that will be better for uh, making it well diversified. And yes, as in this question, he has mentioned that he wants to increase his SIP by 10% every uh, year. It uh, appeals better to me compared to investing 100 rupees every month increasing. So this kind of strategy when you are talking up your investment every year with a larger amount, and at the moment, if you have larger amount to invest, waiting for one month to increase 100 rupees, better you start with a larger amount initially. So this looks a good strategy. Only thing mid-cap is missing, it should be added. Okay. Um, you know, just uh, taking that question to Santosh as well, uh, there is a clear strategy here and six uh, specific funds. There's a NASDAQ FOF as well which shows that, uh, you know, this viewer likes to uh, keep their exposure very equitably distributed. But do you agree with Pankaj's take that uh, not enough of a mid-cap exposure there? Well, I agree with Pankaj and also from the investor's perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, while it's commendable that you're starting to and planning to invest and you've taken the effort to you know, list on a, a broad list of funds, 
but my suggestion is irrespective of the quality of the funds uh, considering equity is a good target scheme stick to just two or three you know as you mature as you age and as you uh, progress in your investment journey you can you know then add on funds which add value to your overall portfolio now putting too many good schemes for a certain amount just to be earning on the side of caution is not a great idea to begin with uh, i think a quantum of this sip maybe to spread it to maximum 3 is a great idea even your increase should be done in these same funds and when your ticket size or your appetite or the need for exposure grows up then we can you know time to time add another scheme now no point of uh, you know spray painting better to be focused you know point of spray painting so out of these six ten santosh uh, which are the ones that you'd cut out or which are the ones you'd keep you know i would just go with the, you know there's a good combination here between active and passive funds and considering you're start, starting right now it's better that you go with the active funds uh, uh, and then maybe later add the passive funds so i think the list i, I don't have a problem with the list i'm only saying keep it simple add uh, not more than two or three go with the active ones right now because you will see maximum value there also yeah okay sujan has written uh, into us he's uh, 20 years old and uh, the goal is lump sum return says i would like to invest 2 and a half lakh in mutual funds can you guide me to add the right funds to my portfolio so that's fairly broad ended in terms of a question so this 2 and a half lakh rupees how do you uh, suggest he deploy it pankaj let me start with you tamanna de see uh, one thing missing that uh, his investment horizon so 2.5 lakh if he wants to invest for long term then definitely i would suggest that he should invest in a diversified uh, uh, manner he should have uh, large cap mid cap small cap everything can be there but if he wants to invest for less than 5 years for example in that case hybrid funds like uh, balance advantage fund or aggressive hybrid, hybrid funds can be a good choice so here i assume that he wants to invest for long term because uh, uh, that i'm assuming because not mentioned here so considering that pack two funds i would recommend to him one is icic prudential flexi cap fund which has a uh, scope of investing across the market segments and another fund will be ipa dilla sun life multi cap fund which invest in large cap mid cap small cap uh, all the segments all the times so so these uh, two funds which will provide him uh, allocation across large cap mid cap small cap and uh, as i mentioned earlier should be a long term a uh, goal mm, all right um so you know just let me take that question to santosh as well uh, how do you ex- uh, how do you suggest that uh, shrujan invest uh, his money and should it be half of each into funds or uh, break it up into several funds well to begin with this gentleman is uh, in the best of uh, both worlds to be at age 20 and to have money to invest and also at a time like this when we have a vibrant economy now my uh, simple uh, uh, you know uh, knowledge with this uh, limited uh, information that we have is that considering his age i think he could straight away begin with a well rounded diversified multi cap or flexi cap fund now in this category we all know that we are actually spoiled for choice we got many large tried tested funds with track record in fact earlier in the show we also spoke about another uh, query about a hdfc flexi cap fund whether it's hdfc or icici you know most of them have a big aum large track record uh, uh, you know huge amount of wealth created for investors so you start with that journey considering you're starting young and starting early stay uh, put in this investment because Uh, the nature of flexi cap and multi cap gives you a well rounded across the market exposure uh, to equities and therefore i think uh, if you're going to be patient enough you will be well rewarded okay well patience and a reward to patience is something akshay is also hoping for our next viewer who's written in is uh, 34 and the goal is their children's uh, their child's education says i'm investing in a few funds and saving for a horizon of 10 years I would like to accumulate 75 lakhs for my child's education. Are these funds the right choice for SIP? And he lists them out. There's HDFC Balance Advantage Fund, uh, 5,000 uh, rupees is what he's putting in. HDFC Multi Cap Fund, another 5,000 rupees. SBI Blue Chip Fund, 10,000 rupees, and the Parag Parik Conservative Hybrid Fund, 10,000 rupees. A noble goal. 
and um, you know you're thinking way in advance that's great going up share let me come to pankaj first uh, for your take on whether this is the right choice considering what their time horizon and end goal is tamanna i suggest some changes in this portfolio because uh, here the investment horizon is 10 years and uh, he has two hybrid funds one is still a balanced advantage fund but another one is conservative hybrid in conservative hybrid equity allocation can be 10% to 25%. And when we talk about 10 years long investment horizon, my suggestion would be he should consider a diversified equity fund. So the change I suggest here is from SDFC balance advantage fund, he can, he can cancel that SIP and divert that amount to SDFC multi-cap fund, which is already in the portfolio. So uh, one fund uh, he can stop and uh, Second thing, he can replace Parag Parik conservative hybrid fund with Parag Parik flexi cap fund. So instead of four funds, he will have three funds in the portfolio and uh, it will be a well diversified equity portfolio, which will be more suitable for long term financial. Hmm. Uh, Santosh, uh, what would be your advice uh, for this specific goal? So I think uh, to begin with, it's uh, good that you got a your structure in place, you got the amount that you can, you know the goal of 75 lakh and you know the, the goal is very specific to kids' education. So a couple of things. Number one, uh, though it is a conservative portfolio, it's still uh, got a fair mix of uh, products. Now this, number one, continue the SIP. Be disciplined to continue and even more disciplined not to stop, not to withdraw because the secret is in continuing and letting the money grow. The second thing is I... Uh, advise this gentleman is that even with an SIP, even if you can't increase it, whenever you have excess funds, keep topping up this investment till your goal is achieved. Now, remember, we have a goal and we have an SIP amount and it's a conservative mix of funds. You may have to once in a way, you know, ad hoc or a lump sum basis add to this so that you can achieve your goal a little early, considering that you've got a very conservative mix of funds. All right. Do not withdraw prematurely because you have a conservative mix of funds, which is wise considering you don't want to risk too much. Uh, the goal is very important. But then don't make the mistake of withdrawing, Oli. Thank you so much, uh, Santosh and Pankaj, for joining us on the show today and giving us all of these interesting ideas. If you want to write into us and get advice of our experts, uh, do look at the numbers on your screen. You can send us a WhatsApp message there and we'll follow up with you. For now, that's all the time we have on the Mutual Fund Show. But we're back here again, same time, same place. See you then.